Hey, it's Mimi from HeyMimi.com, and I think this is a common problem that people might run into with knee. I ran into an issue a few months ago where every time I opened up knee, it would open up, look fine, and when I would scan something, it would suddenly shut down. There was some kind of glitch where one scan got caught up in the queue, and it didn't process. And so what happens is that it's stuck in the tunnel, let's call it, to give you a visual. And then every scan you try to make after that gets stuck behind it. It's like a traffic jam. All that needs to take place is for you to clear that one disabled vehicle in the traffic jam, get it out of the way, and all the other scans will be able to go on their merry way. So I hate calling tech support. I don't know what it is. It's like men asking for directions. I would rather try to go into knowledge base and figure it out for myself and try to fix it. I don't know why. This was one thing. I tried to follow their directions. There are directions on how to resolve this and I'm usually pretty good at that stuff and I attempted it and it didn't solve the problem. So if I can't figure it out, <laughs> I don't want to say if I can't figure it out, you're not going to be able to figure it out, but I'm usually pretty good at that stuff. I usually can avoid having to ask. I hate asking for help apparently. <laughs> okay, so here we are at neat.com and I'm going to come over here to support Let's see if that gets me there, help center. So I'm going to try to retrace my steps on how I got to the online chat that helped me resolve this in like 15 minutes. Now this was back in late December, so I don't know if that is a low traffic time and maybe things are ramping up because of tax season, but they resolved this problem and I didn't use any special premium support thing. So let's see what I did. Getting started, PC software. Let's see if there's like, troubleshootings. Let's just go to PC software. Um, known issues. Go, known issues sounds like a good one. But also check under just the neat desk category and then under your type of computer because there's different topics under each of those headings. If you don't find an answer that you're looking for or an answer that works for you, then you're going to come down here to still need help, view support options. Click on that. Simply click one of the options below new customers with a purchase within 60 days, subscribe to a paid cloud plan. Now, I did have a paid cloud plan, $5.99 a month, and so maybe I did that. Let's let's pretend I didn't do that. Neat care plan members, I don't have a plan. Neat for HP, all other customers. Let's go there. Billing, technical. Let's just go here. Okay. So let's skip that because I didn't send an email. Let's say subscribers to a cloud plan. Okay, this is probably what I did. I do subscribe to Neat Cloud for $5.99 a month. It's just personal, it's not premium, it's not business or anything. And so I think I went like this, Let's see what happens. If it starts opening up a chat box, I'm gonna close it really quick. Yeah, here it is. So here's what I did. Put this information in here. I don't even think I'm logged in right now, but I clicked on subscriber to paid cloud plan. And then I just said, every time I open up Neat, it automatically shuts down. Every time I open up Neat, it seems to be fine. But when I scan a document, suddenly it just shuts itself down. And then I click Submit. And then within minutes, I might, it might have said, please wait while the tech person gets to your question. Within minutes, the tech person got to my question and either told me what to do or fixed it for me. And I was off and running within 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to show you that. If you want to see that video, go ahead and click here. That's a video about that specific problem. I'll show you exactly what they told me to do, and I show you how to find your neat error log, which they will ask you to do probably. And they look at that and then analyze it, and then they get back on chat and tell you what to do or take over your computer and just do it for you. So let's get back to this support issue. Now, in order to get to what I just did, let's see if I'm logged in. I'm not logged in. Okay, so Neat may hate me for showing you this. If you're within your 30 day or 60 or 90 day free trial of the cloud thing, you're probably okay to use this. I'm not logged in and it worked for me. So I may just post this up really quick. However, if you're having trouble getting through to technical support, maybe you should just log in and pay them $5.99 for the Neat Cloud, which I think is awesome because using Neat Cloud is going to allow you to use it on your iPhone, on your iPad, on two different computers at once. I didn't know it could do this, but I installed Neat on a new computer that I got for Christmas, a laptop with Windows 8, and it syncs my desktop computer to my laptop computer Neat, and I can pull up all the current information 
on my iPad and my iPhone. Now, I didn't know that was possible. So for $5.99 a month, I just think it's an awesome bargain. Plus, you get this instant support. So that's how I solved it. I'm just gonna make this a really fast video and see if I can also find the chat information. But they solved my problem in 15 minutes and I've never had another problem again with Neat. So I would say for all the things you get for $5.99, including syncing between multiple computers, being able to review and work with, and even 45, which is a strange number. Why 45? Why not 50? Mobile, either from your iPad or your iPhone. But you can always go in and edit and categorize and do things from your iPad or your iPhone away from your computer after you've scanned them or you can, for up to 45 times, you can take a scan with the camera on your device. Okay, so I wanna make this super quick so that people asking this question can get the answer. Namely, there was somebody I was just talking to. Lisa is having this problem. So I hope that helps you guys. Don't give up on it because it was just a quick fix and I've never had a problem again. I just think this, $5.99 premium. Let's just go ahead here. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Neat cloud. Everybody keeps misrepresenting. I've said this before. Keep saying it's $15.99. It's not $15.99. Compare plans. Let's do that. Neat cloud. Maybe it tries to get you to, I mean, you can't just click the first thing that pops up. They try to get you to subscribe to the $14.99. I have not gotten to the point where I need that. So I just did $5.99 a month. And this is what I was talking about, the 45 captures, because sometimes people ask me, how are you using it on your iPad? You can capture with the camera 45 times a month, but that doesn't mean how many times you can scan things with your machine. This $5.99 not only gets you the cloud, the syncing between multiple computers and using your devices, your iOS devices with it. It also uh, gets you apparently upgraded tech support. At least it worked for me because I'm always surprised when I hear people complain about the problems they're having getting support because I've, I've never had, a pro I've only had to use it once, but it just was so painless to me. I'm surprised that people complain about that. Maybe it's because I subscribe to this. I don't know. Alrighty, so I hope that helps you guys. Let me know if you're having other problems and if I can help, I will. I'm not an expert, I'm just a civilian like you guys, but I'm a big fan of, the, of my Neat Desk Scanner. Okay, the postscript to what I just said about being a big fan, the honeymoon is really wearing off with Neat because I've, I'm getting a lot of emails from people saying, that they've used the email tech support and just never heard back or got a canned answer. And I sent them an email over this weekend about a problem on their website and I got a just really lame canned answer. So I am just really disillusioned and bummed about this because I've been such a big cheerleader for them, but I'm not really doing cartwheels over neat anymore. I love the machine, but I'm not really doing cartwheels over the neat company anymore because they just, they're just really blowing off their customers when it comes to email. I don't know who's in charge of that department, but they ought to be in big trouble if you ask me. And the same goes for the webmaster because there's just all kinds of broken links and nobody seems to care at neat. I write them about it and try to call their attention to it because their customers are getting exasperated and nobody ever replies to me and i'm get hearing from other people that nobody ever replies to them either when it comes to email so that is why i am a proponent of finding a way to use that online chat or to call an 800 number which i happen to hate to do so i hope this helps i'm not sure i'm going to be making a lot of neat desk videos anymore because i'm getting really fed up with this company and the way they're just ignoring customers that have paid a lot of money and now are trying to use their neat desk to get ready for the tax season. So, wow, just very disappointing.